Today we're going to talk about revenue recognition, how you can manage it within NetSuite. I'm Owen Carlson, your ERP coach. Revenue works in NetSuite when we have a financial transaction that credits revenue some amount of money. In a lot of cases, when you have an invoice and you're in a retail or warehouse type situation, that invoice is going to have a debit to accounts receivable and a credit to revenue. You're going to be recognizing revenue in the system right then and there. If you have a situation where you can't earn that revenue right away, well then within NetSuite, there's an extra module that you can enable called Advanced Revenue Management, which instead of having that invoices item hit revenue directly, which is an income statement account, it hits deferred revenue, which is a liability account on your balance sheet. And then we use something subsequently to go recognize that. So revenue recognition in NetSuite starts with turning on the feature of revenue recognition. So under setup company enable features, under the accounting tab, there is a revenue recognition section. And you'll see that I have these checked in this environment. Once they're checked, you can't uncheck them. It's a permanent thing to adopt revenue recognition when you're doing that within NetSuite. The first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to need to create an item, okay? An item represents either a good or a service that we are going to transact with our customer. And because I have advanced revenue management turned on in my environment, I do have this revenue recognition and amortization tab that I can fill out. And this comes with some settings. Each setting is going to be unique to that item and it allows us to configure how we want this to work. We have a revenue recognition rule available to us. We have a revenue trigger, what's gonna be the thing that allows us to actually create the plan that's gonna let us recognize this revenue. And we have some standard accounting settings behind it, which is where do we want this to go before we recognize it? So we're gonna to wanna to make sure that this is hitting a deferred revenue account. So now that we have an item that is ready for advanced revenue management, let's talk a little bit about what a sales order is in NetSuite and why we would use it. Sales order is gonna be what we call non-GL posting, is not going to impact our financial statements. It's really just an internal transaction that helps us for tracking. And we're gonna pick a customer. We're gonna pick a Dell laptop. We're gonna have a quantity of one. Uh, let's just say the rate is $1,000. Quantity times rate gives us our amount. So now I'm gonna go ahead and approve this sales order. But again, this is still not impact our financial statements. Now, one of the beauties, one of the powers of advanced revenue management is at this point, I could engage advanced revenue management and I could go into the back end and I could run a bulk process called update revenue arrangements and recognition plans. And what you'll see here is that this revenue arrangement looks very similar to the sales order. They have a couple things in common. One, for example, neither of these are GL impacting transactions. It no changes to my financial statements. So I can asynchronously either go execute billing operations from my sales order and transform it into an invoice page that I can send that invoice to my customer that represents the thousand dollars that they need to pay me. Or I could go to my revenue arrangement and I could start looking at the revenue plan for this laptop. The plan is gonna be worth $1,000 and so I can open this plan and I can take a look at which posting period is this ready to get posted in. And it looks like this is ready to get posted in May of 2023. So if I were to go to transactions, financials, schedule revenue recognition, journal entries, run now, and I go to our current accounting period, which is May 23, I can see that I have $1,000 for my customer that I am ready to go post. And if I click create journal entries right now, the journal entry is actually gonna get created. And a journal entry does impact our financial statements. We are now recognizing revenue. 
We can see that this journal entry links back to that revenue plan. So we can see where it's coming from. We can see it is debiting our deferred revenue and crediting our income statement. I can come back to my income statement and I can refresh it for May, 2023. And I should have a thousand dollars in revenue. All right, so I've earned money now in this period. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you have any other questions, you can visit zoningco.com and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.